How's it going everybody, Max here. Now last week the new dietary guidelines were all up in the news and as somebody who's making a documentary right now about the impact of our diets on our health, I was asked to comment on them. So um, if you are unaware of what's been going on, every five years the Department of Health and Human Services along with the Department of Agriculture issues dietary guidelines for Americans. A federal publication that has far-reaching implications on what we eat if of course you listen to the government for dietary advice, which many people do. Last week the new recommendations seem to adhere more to actual scientific evidence that they had in the past and I think are definitely a step in the right direction. The most newsworthy part of the new recommendations state that cholesterol in the diet is no longer a quote nutrient of concern. Now many MDs who've done their due diligence have long known that dietary cholesterol has very little effect on serum cholesterol, yet for years we were told to avoid things like eggs for fear that they'd clog our arteries, which it turns out they don't. Okay, so if dietary cholesterol has been exonerated, how is this relevant to brain health? Well most neurologists that I've encountered will say that the best diet for the brain is a quote heart healthy diet. But when you actually look into this statement you realize that it means nothing considering the fact that we're still trying to figure out what a heart healthy diet is. One minute dietary cholesterol is the devil and millions of Americans are trading omelets for high glycemic instant oatmeal and the next minute it's not. So obviously this swing has massive implications and it's a topic that we're going to dive into in depth in Breadhead. But in the meantime I encourage you all to do your own research because after all it is your health and always question the consensus. Subscribe to me here on YouTube and uh, <laughs> go to breadheadmovie.com to join the Breadhead mailing list. We're going to send out all kinds of cool uh, updates on the film, science, you know, scientific articles that I think are really interesting that you need to know about. You know, we don't have time to lose where our health is concerned. Until next time, Max, peace.